it is Playful Piggies, and so today I'm going to show you how to give a guinea pig a bath. So today I'm going to be washing my long-haired guinea pig named Marshmallow. You do not need to bathe short-haired guinea pigs as often as long-haired guinea pigs. Long-haired guinea pigs might need to be bathed more since their fur is longer and drags in their bedding. So this video is going to be very simple and showing you how to give a guinea pig a bath. It should be, it should not be for your enjoyment, just to get the, um, your guinea pig clean. So first, let me show you the supplies that you are going to need to give your guinea pig a bath. The first thing you're going to need is a bottle of Super Pet Small Animal Shampoo. Small Animal Shampoo is the best. Try to avoid human shampoos, even baby shampoos. A small animal shampoo is probably the best way. I try and stay away from um, fragranced um, shampoos, but this is the only one they had at the pet store, and yeah. But it's not awful if it has a scent. Next, you're gonna need a sink, of course. Um, try not to make sure that sinks too deep. Make sure it has sort of like a little curve in. Um, you're going to also need two or three towels. Um, you're going to need uh, like a smaller size towel. So you, this one's just going to be to dry the guinea pig off. And this towel, um, is, or a big towel, is going to be to keep the guinea pig warm while it's drying. A guinea pig bath can last anywhere from a few minutes to a few hours. It depends how long your guinea pig takes to be dried. Even though your guinea pig might be dried, sometimes it's still shivering and you might need to warm them up. My guinea pig takes at least an hour, only a few minutes to clean it in a bath, but it likes to be held and warmed for a long time. Until I start, I have this igloo over my guinea pig to help her feel safe. You do not have to do this. So I'm just gonna remove the igloo and the guinea pig to get the bath started. This is Marshmallow. Um, I'm going to be giving her a bath today. Um, you might want to rinse out or clean the sink before you start. So the first thing that you're going to do to start the bath is you're going to put about no more than an inch and a half water in the sink. It actually might be a little bit more. I have to test it. But make sure it is lukewarm. Not hot, not warm enough so it will hurt them, but not cold enough that it will be too cold. to the water for a minute or two. The next thing you're going to be doing is getting your two hands and putting them like this. With your guinea pig in the middle, you're going to put water in your hands and then put it on top of them. This is how you can get them wet. Sometimes a cup can feel like too much pressure on them. This is nice and slow and gentle. Make sure not to get their ears or above because that could do damage. Keep it below the ears. If you're going to pick poops in the water, don't be afraid. Just a little poopy. Now you're going to take the guinea pig out of the bath to soak them up. Have a designated area. You could have them in on a towel if you like so they don't slip. And if you don't have a towel, make sure that they won't fall. Mm -hmm. 
So do the same technique that I showed you over and over until you get most of the soap out. Now you're going to dry your baby pig off with a small tower towel that I showed you in the beginning of the video. I think you got your guinea pig really good, dry. Now you're gonna use the big towel and cuddle them up so they stay warm. You're gonna hold them around for a long time or until they get dry. If they start shivering, it's normal. It means they're scared and cold. Don't be worried if they start shivering. Now you're just gonna hold your guinea pig for a long time. Now it's your turn to give your guinea pig a bath. Give a thumbs up if you like this video. Bye!